Hello, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schutze. Welcome to our kitchen. Today I'd like to share with you one of my recipes and techniques for my favorite American classics. One that gets a pretty bad rap, much like the pot roast, and that is meatloaf. In today's meatloaf, we're gonna make it with Wagyu beef from Australia as our main protein. I will also add things like mirepoix, mushroom duxelle, as well as bacon from Nyman Ranch, apple smoke, and porcini powder. If that isn't a flavor explosion, nothing is. Join me now as I show you how I prepare the Wagyu meatloaf. The first thing I like to do is start with our mushroom duxelle. I will get a saute pan on with a little bit of oil and then begin sweating some onions. The onions are brunoise, and we will saute these until they become translucent. Let's go ahead and add our garlic. I shaved mine, but you could feel free to mince yours if you like. I will then saute this for a minute or so. Let's go ahead and add our mushrooms. Now the mushrooms were cut in small pieces and then pulsed in a food processor to get a nice finer chop. So we'll saute this. The oil gets absorbed. Let's go ahead and add some salt and sherry wine. We will lower the temperature to medium and let this simmer until it is off sec. Now, while the mushroom duck cell is cooking, I like to take another saute pan, add a little oil, and then begin rendering our bacon fat. Now that our bacon fat is rendered and the bacon started to become crispy, I now want to remove the lardons from the fat and reserve them to the side. Return the bacon fat back to the heat. Let's go ahead and add our mirepoix. Well, now that our mirepoix is about 50% cooked, I then like to add my garlic and a little bit of the herbs. Well, here we are with our duck cell. It is almost dry. There's a little bit of the wine left at the bottom. Let's go ahead and add a pinch of the herbs to it. Good, pull that through. And now we're gonna remove this and place it on a sheet pan lined with parchment paper just to let it sit to cool down. And now that our mirepoix is cooked, let's go ahead and season with some salt and put this on the sheet pan lined with parchment with the mushrooms in order for this to cool down. Well, here we are with our Wagyu ground beef from uh, Australia. Uh, the content on it, I would say, is probably an 80 to 20 uh, meat to fat ratio. It does look good. It looks like there's going to be a lot of flavor with it. So let's get in with the mixing. Uh, let's add our mirepoix that is, uh, has cooled down and our mushroom duck cell. So next thing I like to do is I will add my eggs. I lightly beaten them prior to simply because one of the tricks with making meatloaf or meatballs or a good juicy hamburger is you don't want to overwork the meat. You want to try to have air pockets in there to help hold the moisture. If you pack it too tight, uh, it, everything just dries out. The liquids have nowhere to go and they excrete. Next, let's go ahead and add our bacon lardons. I will then add my herbs. Now let's add some salt. Porcini powder. Let's add our breadcrumbs here. Or I'm sorry, our croutons. This is actually fresh bread. I did not dry these. That way I don't have to soak this in any liquid. And now Dijon mustard. Some black pepper. And let's go ahead and mix everything together. Well, 
Well, there's a several ways we can do this. Um, I'm gonna show you two different ways I like to do. One, we're gonna use a silicone mold and do mini uh, meatloafs. That way I could always chill them below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, freeze them and have them, you know, at a later date rather than doing the whole entree type. So simply, I will take my meat, gently press together, put it in our mold, and again, not working it too much, not pressing too hard, just gently put her in there. Now the next one I like to make a little larger. I could make it in one large loaf, or I can make it in two smaller ones that will cook a little faster and also will be a little easier to manage and handle when you are trying to remove it. So there are my hands, I'm just trying to cup it into a ball and then just gently form it into a loaf. Now I've lined my pan with parchment paper because I anticipate a fair amount of fat coming out of this being as it's Wagyu. Now, I don't want anything to stick to the bottom, and this is just going to help keep liquids there and not really evaporate so fast. Okay, now that we have our uh, meatloafs in there, let's go ahead and get our veg in. I have some fingerling potatoes, some Yukon Golds, baby carrots, and let's just go ahead and tuck these in. Now that we have our vegetables in there, let us go ahead and place this into a preheated oven, 425 degrees Fahrenheit. We will bake this until we get an internal temperature of 155 degrees. Technically you're looking for 165, but I always say 155. Remove it from the oven as the meat will carry over cook that extra 10 degrees. But do not pull it earlier than that or you will have medium rare meatloaf. Well, there you have my Wagyu meatloaf. Definitely not flavorless and definitely not boring. There are a few extra steps involved with the mirepoix and the mushroom duck cell, but at the end of the day, it's a small price to pay for a flavorful meal. The mini uh, meatloafs were done in about 30 to 35 minutes, and the larger meatloafs took about an hour. Because it's Wagyu, there's plenty of fat in there and came out. The bottom of the pan, actually you see a fair amount of fat in there. And some of the liquids and other juices came from the vegetable as well. So we're going to let this set for a little bit before we try to remove it. And then we will slice and serve. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration. I hope it gave you a whole different outlook on a meatloaf. Meatloaf does not have to be dry, flavorless, and boring. Proof of that is today's demo. So thank you for joining us. If you're enjoy liking what you're seeing, please subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up. Thanks again for joining. Joy Fayette.